Welcome to uh, Discrete Mathematics in the School of Mathematics and Statistics at the University of New South Wales. I'm Jonathan Cress. And I'm Daniel Mansfield. Uh, we're here to tell you about the structure of the course, um, which has changed somewhat since last time uh, we ran it. Well, no, actually, it was, a, it was pretty similar last year, but it's, it's new. I got, we, we, there's yeah, some new things. There's some new things, yes. Okay. <laughs> so let's talk about it. Okay. So, um, this is uh, currently O Week, and I hope you're having a good time getting to know the campus. Some of you might be uh, here, might have been here already last year, and some of you will be new students. Um, there's a, quite a, a mix in this course, but uh, we're now in O Week. Uh, we hit the ground running next week with week one, and there's uh, weeks one up to ten of classes. With week six, a little bit different uh, this year. It's called a flexibility week, and we won't have any classes in that week. Some of you might have some classes in week 11, depending on uh, whether or not uh, your tutor fell on a public holiday and lectures fell on a public holiday, but that's, that's a, a, a minor point. So starting next week, we have um, uh, tutorials and, and lectures. And, the, and you might have a tutor that's before the first lecture if you're going to the, to the lectures, uh, the physical lecture stream. So, but that's, that's fine. We've got some uh, fun things to do there. Tasty problems. Yeah. Um, you also have assessments due every week. Now, the assessments aren't... Uh, they're more like homework, computerized homework, and we just keep tabs on you and make sure that you're doing your homework and keeping up to date with stuff. So it's not a not a crazy stressful assessment. It's an easy assessment. You can do it as many times as you like. They're all self-contained. You can check your answers to make yeah. sure that you're getting it all right. You can start it at the beginning of the week and 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 and, and you know close the browser and come back later and, and carry on with it. You know? Yeah. So it's it's very you you'll in, you'll see as soon as you start that this is a low stress kind of thing. Um, but we do want you to do it the whole time you're studying, uh, the whole of the term. So in week one, there'll be stuff for you to do, so please have a crack at it, open it up, see what to, see what it's like, and um, make sure that by, the, ter by week, the time week two rolls around, you've done it, and similarly next yeah. week and so on. Every and some, some of the things might uh, in, in these might be coming ahead of the material in the lectures. It might be actually helping you to prepare ready for when the, yeah. the lecture. and in fact, we've designed it that way. Yeah. So you can use it as something to prepare yourselves for the lectures or something to revise the material after the lectures, really up to you how you want to use them. Yeah. Okay, so um, that's uh, worth a little bit uh, each week online. And uh, the, also um, uh, we have uh, lab tests, which are using the same kind of system online mm -hmm. and uh, similar types of problems. Um, and they occur in weeks four and weeks 10. Um, these lab tests, you'll have a complete bank of questions beforehand to practice, so you should be expecting to get a very high mark in that. The um, uh, weekly online tutorials and the lab tests are things you can essentially just practice and repeat. You only get one chance at the lab test, but you've practiced it before you won't come, so you get a good mark. Um, these, uh, these are, you should, you should be expecting to get a, get a high mark in those, because, uh, and you can accumulate uh, most of the marks during, during the term. There's one other um, assessment, uh, which is the assignment, which is which is a little bit different. Should we talk about that? Uh, can we just say one more thing about the lab test? Oh, the right. lab test is in your, it's in the oh, calendars. Yes. It's, it's in, in the timetable. Timetable, time yes. yes. So you'll have to go through your timetable up to week four to see when exactly in week four you have that event. Yeah. And similarly, it's, in uh, week ten. it's the other class in, in, in your timetable. The other class only occurs twice in the term. That doesn't mean it's something you can skip. It's not very important. It is the most important. <laughs> well, I mean, it's it. There's the, you, don't skip you, it. Don't skip it. You've <laughs> got to turn up for that for that test. Cool. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about now. We can talk about the assignment. So okay. the assignment's lots of fun. We are, uh, we want you not just to be able to do mathematics and be awesome at mathematics, but be able to communicate to other people how awesome you are at mathematics. And that's what the assignment is about. It's a communication assessment. You need to be able to first of all have the right answers. And we'll just pretty much assume that you know how to do the questions, but then present your answers yeah. in this beautiful way that other people can read and say, ah, this person understands mathematics very well. Yeah, and the assignment actually probably concentrates a little bit more on some of the topics in the course which are um, uh, harder to test online, like the proof. Uh, yes. We have a little bit of proof and things like proof and logic, maybe. It, it, it can't, the proof and logic sort of overlaps a bit with it, but there'll be a bit in the assignment. Yeah. So um, the assignment, there's three events in the assignment. They're all due on Monday at 5 p.m. of those weeks. So Monday, 5 p.m. of week yeah. seven. If you're thinking week seven, don't leave it till the end of week seven. No. Go, oh, <laughs> it was on Monday, week seven, yeah. Yeah, so the first thing you have to, is due in Monday of week seven is a draft. You'll get the assignment uh, earlier, and everyone gets a different version of the assignment. You'll uh, write up a draft. There'll be information about what sort of thing you should expect to be doing there. Um, and um, you submit your draft at the beginning of week seven. 
And then each student uh, is assigned the uh, draft from another student and um, you have to then essentially mark and review, give feedback yeah. to that student. Peer review yeah. their work. And you, get, and you get graded on the way you peer review. So, um, so you're, re you're reviewing it and you're trying to give as useful information as possible and hopefully the person reviewing yours gives you useful information. Then we have, uh, once you've uh, done that, a, uh, we have some uh, tutors who, uh, who go over the re peer review you've done and um, essentially grade your peer review. How, how, well, how well does your review actually reflect yeah. what's in the assignment and was it good advice and, uh, and that kind of thing. So at the after, after that you'll have um, advice back from, from the, um, uh, the student who's reviewed your work and from the, the tutor who's reviewed your review and their review. And, uh, and then, um, so you submit your review here on Monday of week eight and then there'll be uh, a final version that you submit uh, on Monday, Monday of week nine, which you then take into account all the feedback you've got and you've had a look at some other students' work and so maybe you've got some new ideas mm. about how, how you should format your assignment and... Uh, uh, how you can better express yeah. the things you want to say. And that's, that's what we want to encourage you to do here. I think, uh, judging from the feedback from, from previous terms, the students felt that they learned quite a lot in this process and um, uh, certainly you know, their, their work evolved uh, as it went on and they and uh, yeah, mm. I think it was a fairly positive experience. Yeah, mm. I thought so. Okay, uh, we should talk about uh, the fact that the course is split up into five topics. Oh yes, so there's uh, five separate topics. That they, and unfortunately it's not, uh, uh, well it used to used to be ten weeks and five topics would go nicely into ten weeks, sort of, um, but uh, the five topics are not quite equal in size, but one important thing is that they are fairly relatively unconnected there's mm. a, if you're doing the proof topic there will be some things from the earlier topics that you need to know but on the whole if you're you know if you're feeling a bit overwhelmed with topic one when topic two starts it's a whole new day yes you know you you, you just uh you're back 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 at the beginning and you can you can dive in and uh, it'll all it, it doesn't the, the fact that uh you know you you're a little bit behind topic one doesn't shouldn't stop you from starting Topic two. Mm. On the other hand, if you absolutely love topic one and you only want to do topic one, don't you have to do the other topics as well? Yes. Don't don't uh, <laughs> <laughs> over invest in the topics that you love yes. or under invest in the topics that you are. Yeah, and the last topic, uh, graph theory, comes right at the very end uh, after essentially all the other assessments. So that that tends to get a big awakening in the exam too. So, yeah. So uh, yeah, you need you need to look, work on all of the topics. Yeah. Good. Um, uh, classes. Did we talk about classes? Uh, no, we haven't talked about classes. You have two tutorials each week. Um, Starting in week one. They're, they're in your timetable. Um, the week one tutorial, uh, the first one is probably going to be before the first lecture for some students. Yep. Uh, so that's, that's fine. We've got some uh, fun things to do there. Um, the lectures run throughout the whole term. But there's two different streams of lectures. There's ones in, the, in a lecture theatre in the traditional style. Mm -hmm. um, and some of you are enrolled in that. Uh, those lectures are uh, do have lecture recordings that you can watch online later, uh, maybe to revise the things you saw in the lecture. I really recommend going along to the lectures actually because it's a good place to get to know. Well, it's the, the place where you meet other people yeah. in your cohort and these people uh, uh, might be doing the same degree as you and you might be seeing them for many years to come doing similar courses as, as them. Yeah. So it's a great place to actually meet other people from UNSW. Um, and that's particularly valuable for you here because these people, uh, you, you can form groups with these people and, and study together and learn together. Yeah, and also the lectures, I mean, it's, it's, it's a live experience, you know, the lecturers do interact with the, the audience, especially if you sit closer to the front, you'll, uh, <laughs> you'll be part, part of the, uh, the yeah, whole show. Yeah, you might show. get wet or something. <laughs> <laughs> there is also the, uh, the web stream, um, and a lot of students are enrolled in that. The web stream is... Uh, uh, so, sort of separate from the these uh, uh, le uh, physical lectures because we've had some videos purpose made by lecturers in the course. Each topic has a different lecturer. Mm -hmm. There's a, s a separate uh, link. You'll find a big table of these uh, videos. They're on they're on YouTube, uh, and you can just uh, watch those uh, um, completely separately to the to the to the, uh, the physical lectures. It's sep It's it's a different thing to the recordings of the physical yes. lectures. These are ones that were made. Purpose made yeah. for 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 these uh, topics by yeah. lecturers who've lectured in the past. Yeah, no, we'd, and, but we don't want to exclude anyone either. If you're enrolled in the uh, classroom lectures, feel free to have a look at some of those videos. And if you're enrolled in the web stream, feel free to 
um, have a look at the lecture recordings. Yeah. So it's a, a, available to everyone. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's probably is that what we need to say. I think we that? just need. Yeah, I think we can just uh, wrap we, it up with a, what about the help? Yes, we should. Well, we'll wrap it up with help. Okay. Yes. <laughs> um, so yes, during the term, of course, you might uh, want some help, and we've already talked course. about meeting some peers. Yeah, which uh, is a great yeah. place to learn the course. I, I certainly remember learning much yeah. from my peers. Um, so that's the first thing. Study, I'll... study together with other students. That's, yeah. that's 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 good advice. We also have uh, a drop-in center. Um, the drop-in center is on level three of the Red Center. It's uh, staffed from you know some some hours per day. Check check online for exactly what's a little bit different on each day, but fairly you know, like ten to three or something like that. Um, and uh, there's experienced tutors there who've uh, who've been uh, speaking to students in this course and other courses for a number of years. They're very they're very um, Good at uh, helping you uh, figure out what you know what what you just missed from the lectures or didn't understand or where you got stuck in a problem. Uh, go along uh, there. Take along your working. Um, you know, can show them what you've done. Don't just turn up and say, oh, "I I've got no idea. I couldn't do this." Be, you know, try and come up with something specific to yeah. say, "This is where I was doing. This is where I got stuck." It's better yeah. if you have had an attempt at the questions before you come in. It just takes less time. Yeah. But if you really truly have no idea what's uh, how how to do question three. That's fine too. You can yeah. just come along. It's just going to take a bit longer. And if you can make an attempt at it, please do because that'll uh, that'll just make every it'll make it go faster for everyone. Yeah. Um, I should also I also want to mention it's a free service, so please come along and make use of it as much as you can. Um, and what else? The Moodle forum. Moodle forum. Yes. yes. So the Moodle forum last term was very active with students posting questions. Um, uh, it's it's a great place to uh, to get help with 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 the course. Again, post you know when you post a question, don't just say I'm stuck on question three. I've got no idea. Can someone tell me how to do it? Um, post what you have tried already. Maybe describe what it is you were yeah. trying to do, um, but where you got stuck, and then and then you you'll get, get better responses. You get you get really specific help that's tailored to you, and, and actually will help you to figure out uh, you know wh where you were going wrong and, and 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 get you back on track. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then the consultation. We roster. have a consultation roster with staff uh, that that will be published uh, on Moodle. You'll find that if you want to go along to a, see a staff member in a consultation hour, not just the lecturers in this course. There's other ones who can who can help out as well. So um, that'll be available on Moodle. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think, well, I think we're done here. Yeah. So welcome to the course. We hope you enjoyed. It's definitely one of my favourite courses the university has to offer. Yeah. So I hope you feel so as well. Good luck. <laughs>